Hello guys, welcome back to Ray's Gaming and Tech Productions and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best controller and keyboard keybinds for RL Sideswipe. So if you guys didn't know, in my last RL Sideswipe video, I actually showed you guys how to download RL Sideswipe using Knox Player. And, and in that video, I actually mentioned that if anybody needed any keybinds for playing the game, then I would give you guys that in a later video. And this is the video. And I actually got a few comments asking for keyboard keybinds. And in that video, I actually gave you guys controller keybinds. But in this video, I'll be giving you guys the best for controller and keyboard. So if you guys end up enjoying this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and turn notifications. And if you guys need help with anything else, go ahead and put them in the comments. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first I'm gonna be starting with keyboard settings and I'm just gonna go and show you guys what I would prefer to use whenever I'm playing with my keyboard, which I wouldn't. But as you can see, they already have the joystick set up to where they, you already just press WASD to get that part moved. Now, I don't understand why they would make Q to jump, even though just everybody who even plays games in general knows that space is always used to jump, but that's fine. We can just change that. So I would just go like this and move it over here and then boom space. So then you would go over here to the boost. Now I personally would, would use shift because that's the closest and most of the time you would be using boost. You, you don't want to have to click to use boost. Now, if you want to do this and you want to use clicking to boost, that's totally up to you. I would just prefer to use shift. So all you need to do is just go to single click and then, and then do shift and then boom. Now you have that. Now with the restart, I would personally say do tab tab just feels more or yeah, wait, let me see. Okay. So now we're going to move over to, to this. I would say the best in my opinion would either be escape or shift, but I feel like we should save escape for the settings button, which I'll get to that in a minute. But I feel like the best thing would probably change it, be changing this to tab. So every time you want to restart your training, you would just press tab. And then for your emotes, I would probably just say to just use your mouse if you want to do your emotes because setting up a whole bunch of stuff for emotes and without having to use your mouse can cause your screen to crowd. So I would say definitely do not use um, any type of keybinds. I mean, you can, if that, that's totally up to you, but I would say just use your mouse whenever you want to do that. And last but not least for the keyboard settings, I would probably just say, um, like I said, just click this and then move it up here and we can make this escape. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, they don't let you use that. So if you want to go to settings, I would probably just say either click on it or you could probably make that control and then it can go there. I don't know why they wouldn't allow escape, but that's fine. So that's pretty much it for the keyboard settings. Now we need to move to the controller settings. Now this is what's more native to me because it's what I use. I feel like this is the best thing to use because in Rocket League, most people use controllers. That's just this cars. So you would use controllers, but if you want to use keyboard, that's totally up to you. But now I'm going to be showing you guys the Xbox or PS4 controller settings. Now, the first things you want to do is, of course, you want to make your left analog stick over here because, of course, that's what you would be moving with, just like in regular Rocket League. And in any game, if you have simple game knowledge with playing games that usually use controller, you would know that A would normally be for jumping, just like in the actual game, and B, most people use B to boost. That's what I use, but if you want to use anything else, you can. I would just say that's probably the best thing I that's what I use I try mostly to make it easier for me so basically I I most of the time just try to make my all side swipe controls the same as my Rocket League controls but yeah so in Rocket League I actually use my left bumper to restart my game so that's why I usually just set it up for left bumper and th this is I would say this is the best if you're using a Xbox controller this is the best settings for that if you're using PlayStation controller most of these are the same just you know so I want to go on Google and search Xbox controller and PS4 controller like comparison and then just you know if I, since I'm using a Xbox controller you would just 
try to sync it together so that it you have the same thing as if you're using a xbox controller luckily whenever you want to change or go to settings with using a controller they actually allow for you to use the start button which is most of the time for pausing your game you would set it up to where it already has that so again you would just go single click put it up there and then press your start button and that's pretty much it and like i said in the intro i didn't think people would need this type of video because honestly it just depends on what you want to use but if you guys want the best settings at least for me then you guys can watch this video and copy everything but if you guys ended up enjoying this video please make sure to subscribe like and turn on notifications and if you guys have any other questions about rsi swipe or need help with it i will be you know making more videos about this just going to put them in the comments but with all that being said I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.